I'm back and you can see I've got Sasha's color done. We've shaped her just a little bit. I didn't want to cut a lot off of her because it was really looking good here. What I do want to show is how we flat iron uh, this haircut to give it texture and give it body. Um, I just dried her hair with my hands in that direction that we like that hair to fall, that natural fall. I'm going to start right here in the crown. And what we like to do is taking the spray and play, spraying that section, taking your flat iron and flat ironing that little piece up. We want to go in the direction that we want the hair to stand up. It gives us so much texture and body to the hair and it really gives that piecey effect where you get that separation that shows that tousled hair. Using the spray gives it a little protection and it does give a little more body. It's almost like starching a shirt. Putting a little uh, starch on there to stand that up. We like these sides. These look great but what we want this hair to do up here is to really to stand this up. Take a little spray and using your flat iron. The flat iron can be used in so many ways. It's not necessarily just to straighten the hair. We use it to give body and lift. We even use it to give the hair curl. So you can really use that and be creative in the way that you use the flat iron by giving a really straight piece, giving a little curve, giving a little bend, a little kick, and it really makes this easy to work with and you give it gives you that style that just doesn't this stays it does not fall so it really is easy to do and like I said it gives that new gives the haircut a newer look it just takes it, it just kicks it up another step to give it a modern edge to it now we like the bangs we like the bangs down but we don't want them to look thick and heavy so I'm going to come back to those, but right here at the round of her head, I'm going to pull this out slightly just so this doesn't lay flat at the, at the sides of her head here. And even right underneath, we're going to go right in here and do a little bit right in the bang just to lift this up and separate. And to the spray that we use is our fast drying finishing spray. It's very easy on the hair, it gives shine, and it doesn't build up or leave the hair stiff or sticky. Water soluble, comes right off. So it's good for the hair. It's not hard on the hair at all. Pulling that down a little bit. You can see as I go around, I'm just going to kind of work my way around. This works great too if you want to really stand this up in a faux hawk. I could go in the other direction and really make this hair a little edgier, a little wilder. Right here in the crown, I want a little more lift in here so this isn't laying flat. Just taking small sections, spraying and flat ironing up up and out. Now once I get all of this done, once I get all of this done, I'll just take my hands and break it up just with my hands, use a little more finishing spray, a little bit of Max Wax, and then you end up with all this great texture and volume and just very piecey and jagged. It really plays up the haircut. When you have a cut that's just kind of mundane and needs a little uh, make a statement to it, this is what you do. Giving it the flat iron, really making this edgy. Right there, I'm pulling that down. You can see in the haircut all the little ragged edges and all the razor razoring I did with the shark tooth. Now, let's see, do we want any more in there? Maybe a little bit more right here, a little more separation. Hit it with a little spray. Take the flat iron at that root and pull it out. Now, once you've got this shape here, then you take your hands and use your hands to really break it up and make it piecey and separate. And it was cute before, before I did this, but now it really, really takes it to another level. It gives this hair just a newer look. Now, that is just with my hands, and you can see how it really played up that haircut. What and I want to do color. now... And even her color stands out more. I put those very blonde pieces in here with that 10C on the base. Now you see that little bit of shading and that shadowing at the roots so it's not solid one color. Now a little Max Wax, a little dab of this, and we are good to go. It doesn't take such a little amount of time to really change that cut and give it a new feel. We'll be back next time and you'll see Sasha again. Thanks for watching.